was very intelligent. Uh, he was very knowledgeable. He would take us hunting, fishing, okay. camping. With all the kids thinking they're gonna see a deer, especially Amber leading the way. Take us to the parks, to the museums, any type of intellectual stimulation he could give us. See there? No, don't press the red button. It'll say REC on it. Yeah, it says REC. Now, do you see? Yeah. Now? Uh-huh. Finally. There, Kyle, look at yourself. He. <laughs> when we would go camping almost every summer, travel around, I miss that. He was always really happy then. Look. Wave bye-bye. Wave bye-bye. Bye-bye, Kyle. There was another side, and he seemed like he had polar opposite sides. We'd be afraid if we didn't do what he said, he might harm us or scream at us or yell at us, be mean to us. Stop it, Dad. What? Stop it. Stop what? He was a bully. He was never physically abusive towards my mom that I know of, just towards us. As a kid, we would stay outside and play all day, and we'd wait till the last minute to go to the bathroom. And I remember holding in <laughs> until I could get to the toilet, and my dad grabbed my ankle and shook me until I urinated on myself and then dropped me on my head on the floor. But I don't remember what happened after that. It's just like a blackout. <laughs> 